Let's find the answer for three divided by four. So we could think of this as both a fraction and a decimal. The fraction is three over four. That's three divided by four. So that's one way to think about this. Three divided by four is three fourths. These are equal. The other way is we could think of this as a decimal. So we have three. We want to know how many times four goes into three. Since four is bigger than three, we know it's going to be less than one. So we have three and we want to know how many times four goes in to three. So since it doesn't go into three, let's put a zero and a decimal point and we'll call this 30. Seven times four is 28. So why don't we try that? Seven times four is 28 with two left over. Since four doesn't go into two, let's call this 20. We move over one more. Five times four, that's 20. And 20 minus 20 is zero, no remainder. So we could also write the decimal three fourths as 0 0.5. If you divide three by four on a calculator, you're going to get 0 0.75. These are equal. So that's how you divide three by four. You get three fourths or the decimal 0 0.75. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.